But when I open up this one, this says iPad vertical. Now keep in mind, if you're not doing digital publishing, think how you would use this for print or for anything, or like I said, different ads or whatever. So just by default, this was set up to be iPad. So you can see that it's, uh, it's 768 by 1024. That's the, uh, the size for an iPad. So if I do iPad, so let's just assume digital publishing because because I have some of these standard sizes here, iPad. You know, so this is an old iPad. This is not even the, whenever the Retina display came in, second version or the third, I forget when. That's twice the resolution. So we'd actually need to have that twice. So here's where that math comes in handy because I haven't figured out what the new resolution actually is yet. I just do times or asterisk two, <laughs> right? So now that's what the resolution of the Retina display iPads are, 768 by 1024 doubled. <laughs> so that's what we have here. So of course I would call this iPad 3. So I would just do a new custom layout called iPad 3 or iPad Retina or whatever it is I want to call it. So anyway, this was set up as iPad vertical. And so what I want to do is just show you what would happen when I say create a new version, iPad horizontal. All right. So I'm going to go ahead to the pages panel menu and choose create alternate layout. And it automatically says, oh, would you like to base it on iPad vertical? It's the only thing I have in there right now. And would you like to call it iPad H? Sure. OK, great. It already says it's page size iPad, and it just flipped the orientation for me. And down here, we have these liquid page rules. This is how it tells it what to do with the content on the page when we create this new alternate layout. We're going to look at all those different pieces in a little while. But let's right now just check everything that's here. This is what's here by default. And we'll just say, go ahead and go with that. And we'll say, OK. And it creates a whole separate layout right in the same document. But it takes this page here, and it becomes that. It takes this, and it becomes that. A little wonky, need a little fixing there. That's all right. This becomes that. So you can see how that's pretty much laid out and ready to go. I'm going to have to do a little tweaking, but I think I can handle that. Sure beats having to go and relay out this whole thing again. This becomes that. Not quite what I was expecting, but that's because of the way we have the rules set up. And this becomes that. So again, fell off the end of the page a little bit. We'll fix that. And this becomes that.